We live in a world today that we are losing the real sense of nobility and chivalry. And I'm not talking about aristocracy. In my opinion, the real nobility is, above all, in the heart before being in the blood. That's why we are maintaining those ideals to our system of honors and orders of chivalry. I've been always a critic of princes and knights that just want to shine medals and remember the glorious past. That's why the orders serve as a vehicle to our cultural and humanitarian projects. The Equestrian Order of Michael Archangel, the official representative of the 1,500-year-old Gassanid Knights, one of the first protectors of the Holy Land. It's documented that the Gassanids were the first knights protectors of the Holy Land under the Byzantine Empire around 500 years before the First Crusade and the creation of the First Orders of Chivalry. Although not organized in orders per se, the Gassanids were the first defenders of Christianity in history to incorporate what's known today as a code of chivalry, originated from the Arab concept of Moruwa, which means bravery in war, hospitality, respect for women and for honor, and protection of the weak and the orphans. Thus, Gassanid chivalry developed in the 6th century AD and was spiritualized by Christianity, a process that brought it close to the Christian version of chivalry in medieval Europe. The Gassanids' commitment to Christian chivalry as one of the ideals that they developed and tried to live up to, especially in their wars, has hitherto been an unknown chapter in the history of this concept. Professor Irfan Shahid, PhD. Under the Royal House of Ghassan, in special consultative status with the United Nations since 2016, the order invites men and women of pure intention from all religious denominations to join this international group responsible for several humanitarian and cultural projects in several countries of the world. We have two categories of knights and dames. First, the people that have achieved excellence in their profession or in humanitarian field. Also, people that have amazing life experiences, making them role models. The second category is people that are wanting to make the difference, that are willing to contribute and work for the cultural and charitable initiatives. That service can come as a donation, sponsorship, recruitment, etc. But we need people willing and able to help us to make a powerful impact in the world. The order is recognized by some of the main political and religious leaders in the Middle East, and even being inter-religious was recognized by different Christian leaders. And in 2016, the order was canonically erected in the Roman Catholic Church by His Excellency Bishop Don Roberto Francisco Feveria Paz of the Diocese of Campos, Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, recognizing the order as a valid canonical organization according to the laws of the Catholic Church, as a chivalric association. The order is also recognized by heads of state like the presidents of Lebanon and Albania 